hello guys and welcome to the channel so guys congratulations to farkrila k farkrila k uh, was able to grab a brace yesterday and took his tally to nine goals this season as pyramids fc in the egyptian premier league defeated smoha by five goals to two and what's interesting is that they were losing by two goals to nil at first you know and then they came back to score five the greatest news for farkrila k's side is that they also secured a spot in the 2023-2024 CAF Champions League alongside El Ali. So congratulations to them in that regard. Some sad news revealed by the Orlando Pirates midfield, Goodman Mosele, saying that he had a lot of problems of field and there was a point where he did not even care about losing his place at the club. He says it was tough because... There was a time when I didn't care if they fired me or not. I did not care. It is difficult, you know. It is things you constantly think about. You wonder what will happen five years from now. But I soldier on uh, as long as they, meaning my family, have something to eat. We will deal with what happens in the future when it happens. For now, we just soldier on, but I am scared. I wonder what will happen if I stop playing tomorrow. I said to myself, I will eat whatever is eaten at home. Even now, it's not like I am okay, but you will not see it. Musele said that the individuals deal with challenges and pressures differently. He said, Uti, we don't deal with things the same. There are things that I did that I would never talk about in public. But uh, there is pressure at home and the pressure that we put ourselves in. I did those things because of what I was going through. Since I arrived here at the club, they have helped me a lot. They even arranged counseling for me and it helped me a lot. Our lives are difficult because people only want to see you play well. When I play, I always want to make sure that I am satisfied with my performance. Guys, this is what uh, Goodman Mosele said on uh, the Bucks camp on e Super Sport TV. Very sad you know, revelation uh, coming from him. And another thing to remember from this statement is that soccer players, after being soccer players, they are also human beings like everyone else. And, you know, they also encounter these issues. They are not robotics. So I wish him all the best. And yeah, man, I wish uh, most of the players can talk about their problems and then they get counseling, you know, as there are those kind of, you know, systems to help them get through what they're going through. All the best to him.